Welcome to another Monday Blitz. Thanks for taking a few moments to spend with me as we look at 1 Samuel chapter 11. Has God ever asked you to do the impossible? Well, let me ask another question. Maybe that one's too big. I know that was pretty big for me when I realized what God asked Saul to do in chapter 11. But have you ever shamed somebody? Now that word's such a powerful word, and throughout Scripture we have this issue of shaming that takes place, of suggesting the, a, a hierarchy of uh, value of various human beings. And here in this chapter 11, we have an example of here is God's people on the verge of being shamed and actually causing shame for the whole nation of Israel if this foreign country comes in, this foreign group of people come in and take over just one city. And I thought about that for a moment. We as Christians, we claim equality, we claim people are equal, and yet it's so easy for us to shame people. People who don't look like us, people who don't believe like us, people who don't know Jesus. Sometimes it's very easy for us as Christians to actually suggest that a, an unbeliever is less of a human being, or at least less in the eyes of God, than a believer. And yet here we get this powerful image, this powerful picture that takes place in this story in chapter 11 here, 1 Samuel, where a city has the risk of shaming the whole nation, and God invites Saul to lead Israel. He has already declared Saul king, but Saul literally has gone back to his farming. And now God says, here's a chance. And it says, the Spirit of God comes on Saul, and he does the radical thing of asking all of Israel to come and rescue one city. Now you might say, that's a little bit extreme. Do you really need the whole nation to do this? No. He didn't need all the nation. God didn't need anybody to rescue this. He could send the angels and make the rescue. But it's an opportunity for Israel to protect the value and the, the integrity, the, the values of human life. And so I'm caused my, this brings me back to a question as I ask myself, do I value other people? Do I see them as my equal? Do I desire to protect the value of a human life? Will I go to the extreme? Saul is asked to lead Israel. This is this bumbling, stumbling, <laughs> clearly not leadership quality material. That's who Saul is. And yet, the Spirit of God comes on him and he brings Israel together so that one city is not bring shame upon all. What might God be asking you? What is God asking me to do about protecting the value of human life? Protecting people from shame? Because we are all equal. There is not one of us that is greater in the eyes of God than the next. So, as you take time this week, Ask God to show you how you can uplift others and bring value to their lives. Help others see the value in humanity. And let's get rid of some of the shame that we keep sharing intentionally and unintentionally with those around us. Because we are all created in God's image. Until next time.